Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I have a fun video to share with you. I am going to be doing sort of a traveler's notebook setup slash flip through slash switching out some decorations. So basically what happened was I have my Foxy Fix Rowena here. This is a B6 planner. You guys have actually been seeing me plan in it if you normally watch my videos for the last month or so. I've been using this since the start of December as my on the go planner and I've been doing a um, uh, plan with me's and my B6 inserts on my channel as well. However, I haven't shared this setup with you guys yet and I keep saying I want to, but basically what happened was I did a setup in this planner at the beginning of December or maybe end of November and I kind of did it like probably like two thirds of the way done and I was still kind of waiting on some bu buffalo check stuff to come in, but I kind of wanted to do a combo buffalo check Christmas style planner but I ended up kind of doing it too early. Like basically I hadn't waited for enough of my Buffalo check stuff to come in and it ended up being like quite Christmassy and maybe not quite, maybe a little too busy and some stuff is just not my taste. So basically what I'm gonna do now is take out the stuff that's super, super Christmassy and go through and change that out on camera for you and then I'll show you a flip through of the finished setup. So if you wanna skip ahead right to the flip through, I will post that uh, at time stamp link for that in the description bar. But if you're interested in kind of like what I had in here before and what I wanna switch out, definitely stay tuned. So let's get started. I'm gonna push all of this like accoutrements I've accumulated that I wanna to try to incorporate some of to the side. First up, let's talk about what is on the front of my planner. By the way, like I said, this is a B6 Rowena from Foxy Fix. I do have a Foxy Fix 101 video on my channel. I will leave that linked up in the sidebar there, or you know, the top corner there, in case you wanna check that out. That kinda goes through what are the sizes, what are the different leathers, what are the different customizations. So if you have general questions about Foxy Fix, I would definitely check that video out. But so I have a Rowena that has, I believe this was called Wheat Stitching and Navy Elastic, so it's a very rustic look. Rowena is a very rustic leather. Um, and on the spine I have a heart. And then on the spine I have this charm right now that says love. This is from Peonies Papery. I'm actually going to take this one off and instead I'm going to add this really cute little pine cone one. This is from Wild Summer Designs and I think this really matches the like rustic aesthetic of this planner and will look really cute with the buffalo check. And then on the front here, I have two charms. This first one is from Pigtails and Pockets. And this was a really cute one for the holiday season. It has an adorable little Fox and Pip hand-drawn bow. They collabed on these and it is obviously red and it has a cute little jingle bell, so sweet. However, this is very Christmassy to me. And so I think I'm gonna pop that off. And then the other palm here that I have is my favorite, which is from Peach Palm. She makes little palm clips and charms. And for this charm, it has a little bow with kind of pearls on it and palm, a little uh, white palm on it. And I think that's pretty cute and kind of wintry in general. I love these especially because I take this planner to work and I think these are like subtle enough that it's not super obvious when you take it to work and it's like, oh, she's got like some crazy stuff on her planner. And then also I did buy this um, this was a charm from K and Co XOXO and just being fully transparent with you guys it broke so I had this on my planner at first and this already broke and I'm sure I could try to like get it back together it looks like the stuff just kind of came apart a little bit but between it being kind of bulky to carry around at work and also kind of being kind of fragile I'm not inclined to put this back on my planner so I think I'm just gonna leave the peach palm one on there so then let's go ahead and dive in so first up, you can see I never got a chance to really set up the pockets, so I'll be doing that in this video. I did have a couple of little cute um, sheets here from Hello Petite Paper. They are just like little, I think these were like her fall coffee ones, but I thought these buffalo check ones that have like the, uh, the red and the black, those kind of coordinated with this, but I'm not sure if I'll leave those there. If I find something that I like a little bit more, but I'll leave those there for now. And then in this first insert, you can see that we have a December calendar. So by the way, this one is in a vinyl dashboard from this is from Foxy Fix itself it's a secretarial dashboard which means it has this uh, shaped pocket has like the curved pocket I think next time I'm planning on placing an order for some um, straight across ones so I can use those in a different setup but um, this is what I have for now 
So you can see here that I put a calendar here for December. Obviously it is already January as I'm filming this, it's New Year's Day, so I need to change that out. And also I just ended up really not liking this dashboard. I thought it was like not cute at all. So I think I'm definitely gonna take that half out. And then this back half, Let's see, let's slide this whole dashboard out. So by the way, this first insert is the weekly insert from Jasenia. She just released these in her shop. It looks like this. These are the ones I've been doing my weekly planning in. Really like those. And then this clip is from Peach Palm. Obviously that is going to be coming out because it is Santa themed and we'll find a different one to put there. But I think for this whole dashboard, so the back dashboard, basically has like a deer on it, has some cute uh, decorations from the Planner Society. This deer, by the way, is from a pack from Michaels. And then I slid in this card. This is from Wild Summer Designs. Um, and that I think we'll want to keep. And then this uh, paper behind it, that's also on the inside of this one, that is like a deer head. That is, I believe it's from Michaels. Is it blank on the other side? Yes, so that's from Michaels if it's blank on the other side, um, a Michaels paper pack. So I think I'm gonna slide this one out, but I might leave a lot of this the same, except for maybe I'll pop off this wood uh, paper and try to like redecorate this front one. Um, although green is very Christmassy, so maybe I'm gonna pull out this entire like back half of this one and put something new in there. Okay. Then we have this next dashboard. I actually really like this one because um, I just thought this was so cute. It's like a gold glitter antler head on top of a doily. I got both of those from Michaels. And then we have here a really pretty paper. This is from the Planner Society November kit. I did unsubscribe from the Planner Society, but um, this was like, a, I think this was the last kit I got from her. But then we put Merry Christmas. So this one I think I'm going to try to keep it in, even though it's not really Buffalo check themed. I just think this is so pretty. Um, and I also have a sheet of acetate on top of it. I realize for some people that might be a little busy. So I might, I'm not sure. I might pull this out. I'm gonna pull out this dashboard as well um, and try to see if I can use undo to lift off the Merry Christmas. And then on the back of it, I just put some um, of the post-its that were from that same uh, planner society box and then I have back here a, just a very simple decoration life is beautiful blah 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 so this one I don't know I really like this dashboard I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it so I'm gonna pull that one out too and this is just my doc grid. I use this for work, so I'm not gonna show you what is in the actual contents, but I got this from So Much Crafting, um, and I really, her paper's really nice, so I like using that one for my work bullet journal. And then in the next dashboard here, this one looks like it can stay. This is another vinyl dashboard. The Planner Society papers, I find, are sturdy enough that they don't need to go in a dashboard, and honestly, I just don't have uh, six dashboards and I do use six inserts in my planner so I sometimes I just need to have some that aren't in a dashboard but this one is in a vinyl dashboard this is very simple I will probably just add a couple things to that this is a, a note card or a dashboard from wild summer designs on top of a piece of paper from Michaels and then on the back here this is like red plaid has a deer and then some decorations from the planner society and this was my Christmas list so this insert will actually need to come out as well um, and then on the back, oh no, the back of this one, so maybe I'll be taking out this in, the inside of this, the red plaid on the inside. This has all sorts of Merry Christmas designs, as you can see. And then on the back, this one can definitely stay, and I love that gold deer head. It's on top of Buffalo Check, um, which again is from Wild Summer Designs. So this one we will be replacing both the insert and the actual dashboard. And then here, I know I wanna replace this one because I hated having this in my planner. This was a, or at least I wanna change this one up. This is a piece of, uh, what's this called? Scrap of paper from the Planner Society kit. Um, I really love this paper, but then I put on top of it this like decoration from Michaels that has, Oh, it has like, uh, it's really, really cute. And I saw, I think Maria told me that she got these and used it in her planner. But for whatever reason, when I glued it down, it like totally bowed the page and like would be really, really like fat, like when I tried to fold up my planner. So I definitely wouldn't add such a th three dimensional decoration in the future. So that one I need to change out. I also think I'm gonna take this acetate out because this reads pretty Christmassy to me. Um, I will definitely save it for next year. It was from Planner Society. It's really cute. It has like a little wreath and boots, but to me that's very Christmassy. And then this one, oh, this one was just Liss. Never mind. This wasn't my gift cards. I, this was just Liss, but still it's pretty Christmassy. So I might change that one out. I might leave that in actually. 
just in, just until I get a chance to print out a new B6 list. I, I didn't actually print out my printables before I did this video. So I'm gonna leave that one in there for now. Um, but then this one is the one I wanna take out, which is the one I used for tracking cards and gifts this year. That is from Jesenia's Printables. And then on the back of this dashboard, this is pretty, so I'm thinking I might be able to just undo this piece off and redecorate the front of this to be a little bit more buffalo checky. That's what I'm hoping. And then finally, we have here another antler, but this is green and I'm trying to get rid of the green. So I'm gonna take this piece of acetate out. And then this one on the front, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, is clearly very Christmassy, so I think we're gonna have to change that out. This sticker was from, or this little, uh, what's this called, journaling card was from Michaels, but then actually this was a transparent sticker from Target that I layered over it. And then this was from Target and that was from Planner Society. And this backing paper was from Michaels. This paper is again from Michaels. This is just a little thing I had put in here because I hadn't finished um, this dashboard. This is from My Newest Addiction. So obviously I'm gonna add some stuff there. Back here I just had this like that um, and that is, from Wild Summer Designs. Again, that one can stay. If I wanna add more, I can. And back here, this is green, so I'm probably gonna change this one up, but I kinda of want to keep that note card, so I might try to just do it. So pretty much I'm changing all my dashboards, I'm realizing. I didn't think I was gonna change so much. And then these inserts are just notes inserts from Jesenia. I honestly didn't use those, so I might switch them out for something more functional. For me, I just don't really take like general notes. I either put stuff on lists or it is in my work planner. Um, and then finally, this one I like had been waiting for some cute note cards to put in. This kind of shifted around. It was like a little um, candle die cut. This is from My Newest Addiction, but I was waiting for some other stuff to add to that. This sweater print is from a Michaels paper pack, so I will be using that. And then this one has some really cute little um, washi from Target up there, and then just some of the Planner Society little die cuts, and I think I will leave that alone. And then this insert is from Jesenia's Printables. That is the um, health insert from her. I really like that one. I have a paper clip here that is from, sorry, I'm trying not to show the, my inserts too much. Um, this one, this is from Green and Lime. I'll take that off for now, but I'll, I'll put that back in. And then in the back here, we have this really pretty wood print that has some of the Planner Society um, paper and a little die cut from her as well that's really cute the little chris the little tree down here is from a target sheet maybe i'll see if i can lift that up and then that bow is from fox and pip which is really cute so this one i might leave even though it's kind of green i just think it's really cute and in the back here we have this really cute little card from maria two little bees it says it's the most wonderful time of the year however the most wonderful time of the year is over so this dashboard will need to be edited as well so turns out we're fixing all my dashboards up but that's good that is fun we will do that. I'm going to take these stickers out. I forgot I had put them back here. These are from the Scribble Prints Co. kit I used, leftovers from that a couple weeks ago. And then I have this little sheet from Fox and Pip that I had in here because I just thought that was like a really cute little holiday sheet to keep. But I'm going to pull that out and set that aside because it's kind of Christmassy themed. And finally, I did have a pen gem in there, but I'll put that out for now. So let's set the actual Foxy Fix aside and get to work on these dashboards. Okay, so I think how I wanna start is pulling out the papers that I know I'm not gonna use, and then I might consolidate some into like one dashboard, so just as an example. I know, like I said, I didn't really wanna to keep too much green in this planner, so I wanted to move to more of a buffalo check look. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this scrapbook paper here. It was very cute. I might try to save the Planner Society decorations because I love them, um, and pull those off there, but I'm gonna set this aside. And instead, I'm gonna pull in, what do we wanna use? I wanna do like something really kind of setting up the theme of this planner first. I might take this one apart and set aside this insert as well, this Merry Christmas one, since I'm not gonna use that, and use this little sheet here. These are glued down, so I might take those and put them on the inside of this one. As you can see, you just kind of slide them in. Sometimes they'd be a little tricky to work with. At 
your guys' suggestion in my last setup video, I had noted that the secretarial pockets, they sometimes get like caught, but you guys suggested if you just keep the pieces of scrap of paper as one long piece, so you don't like cut them in half down the middle, they actually won't snag so much on your inserts, which was a great idea. And then I think I'll do for the front cover, I kind of want to bring in this deer head. And then I want to do some buffalo check on that. So this will be the front cover there. And I'm thinking, so we have some really cute stuff. So I have, I'll just kind of tell you guys what everything is as I go. We have this stuff from Two Little Bees. These are the um, buffalo check die cuts. We also have these from Fox and Pip which are like her little, she had digital art. Obviously I'm not gonna use the days until Christmas now that I'm realizing that. Kinda wanna use this little buffalo check butt girl. She's just so cute. I'm calling her the butt girl because she has the butt flap. Um, we also have some die cuts here from Wild Summer Designs. We've got a lot of options to work with. So I'm thinking, I am thinking I want to have a month and even though this doesn't match the theme perfectly, these from Rose Colored Days, I'm thinking I wanna bring them in anyway. Um, it's kind of floral, which isn't like a perfect match for this style, but I think that's okay. And then maybe putting something down here, maybe the little planner stack down here from Fox and Pip would be kind of cute. I kinda of want like a little bow in the upper corner although I don't want to cover this up too much. What do we have? What do we have? No. Oh, I have this sheet from Jameson Reed Designs. I could take like either a little winter cabin up in the corner, a little candle, or we have uh, maybe a little, the little milk or the little hat might be cute up there just to kind of set the scene. I'm kind of torn on using this calendar or not. Maybe I don't need a calendar this month. I don't know, I always have a calendar there. I do like having them. Um, so I think, they're I think they're pretty functional. So I think I will try to squeeze that in. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay the calendar down. I think I'm gonna do it slightly off center so that I can squeeze in the girl. Yeah, I think that's about right. So close to the edge of those deer antlers. And so I'm gonna do this. So a little off center, but I don't think it'll be obvious once it's in the planner. And then I'm gonna put the little Buffalo check girl there from Fox and Pip, and then the planner stack down here. Kind of like a weird eclectic mix, but that's kind of what this planner is gonna be, I think. I have here my tape runner from Scotch Creates. I just got a new one because my old one died on me very unceremoniously when I was in the middle of a setup video, I think. Um, so, oops, this one's like very aggressive. Okay, here we go. So I have this, this is just a lot easier than making a mess with glue, especially when I'm like trying to film this all at once, so. Okay, this is like, keeps leaving like little dra stragglers. I don't know if I love that one, but that's okay. I'm gonna put this little guy down here and put that up here. I don't want it going over the edge though. Her little arm might. We might have to cover up a little bit of this calendar, but we'll survive. Okay, very cute, really, really cute. I kinda still want something of her up there, but we're gonna leave it be for now. And then on the other side, I did have this dashboard that I just pulled off. I don't know if I love this one. When I kept looking at it, I was like, eh, it's so like fashion girly. Um, so I'm gonna see what else we have over here that I might wanna use instead. So I'm thinking of just putting this note card here from Two Little Bees. I think this is so cute um, with her foxes and I could just stick that in there like that. Um, I'm thinking about that or I kinda wanna save that cause that could even just be like on a dashboard on its own. So maybe I'll just use some of her die cuts instead. We have the really cute fox here, which is pretty sizable, which is really nice. So we could just use the fox. Oh, hi, Sarita. Sarita's here, guys. <laughs> and then we could maybe do the baby. It's, nah, that's kind of small. Um, what else could we do here? We have this cute little, um, this is from Jameson Reed Designs, or we have this 
snuggly girl and maybe she could just be on a dashboard on her own how do we feel about that um you guys know i can be mixed on girls but i thought this one was so cute and cozy looking do we like that she's just kind of on a dashboard on her own i like this deer print enough that i kind of want to show some of it so okay this this is this is an aggressive tape runner oh my goodness why Try not to be aggressive with it. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but I think I liked it. Okay, cute. And so now we're ready to stick this second half in here. I actually love this one. Is there a different one? I kind of want that one to be a facing out dashboard now that I'm looking at it because it's just so cute. Hi. Sarita is annoyed with me and I don't know why. Um, what could we use instead? Okay, let's slide this one in. And these Michaels papers are not cardstock, so they cardstock, so they almost have to be in an insert like this, um, or in a vinyl dashboard like that. So what do we have? We have the little two little bees card. We could just stick back here. Does that look weird um, on a white background? I don't love it. What else do we have? We have this one. What does this have on the inside? Uh, this piece of paper we could steal. Okay, so my battery just died, but I went ahead and added in this piece of paper also from a Michael set on the back of this front dashboard. And here I'm just gonna add in this little winter cabin one on the front here, pretty simply. And then what do we have on the back of that? That girl, um, what else do we wanna add? Maybe just a little, two little bees fox down there. Just keep it pretty simple. And so, by the way, you guys might be able to tell that since I'm getting rid of like some of these papers, I'm not even just replacing the papers, I'm gonna end up with fewer actual dashboards. And that is fine because I have a ton of vellum dashboards from Planner Press that I wanna use in this setup. And they're very decorative, so I think it's gonna look a little silly to layer them over a like vinyl dashboard. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a couple vinyl dashboards and then mostly the planner press um, vinyl or the vellum dashboards. So this one we have all set here, set that aside. Next up I wanna fix this one, the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. These are all very cute, but obviously they gotta go. Um, and then here I might see if I can pull this. Yes, I can. So I didn't use full on uh, glue here so I can pull this just get rid of the, these two here and I can use this one over top of some other paper instead whoops we're moving stuff around and then we have this one that I mentioned I definitely wanted to make sure I use so I think I might actually just pop that one in right here I just really like how simple this one is has the buffalo check on both sides I love the gold glitter one as well Okay, and then on this inside, we need some papers. So we have this guy from um, the Planner Society box. So I might try to lift this up with undo, like I mentioned. Oops, that's the new bottle. Here we go. I'm almost out of this well, first bottle, but I bought a backup already. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. So undo if you're unfamiliar you can get this on amazon it's freaking magic it removes anything like you can use this on labels from stuff you buy at the store um you can use it on stickers it's pretty good about like removing most things um and that are adhesive and then you can lift them and it typically doesn't damage the page too much this is going to be a real test because this is like glue that's been on there forever and it's real glue doesn't sound promising does it uh-oh what did we get what do we have? Okay, we did okay. We had a little bit of tearing there and we're also dripping undo everywhere. Oops. Um, but that is, that is salvageable in my opinion. So the question is then, would I use this on the inside here? I could do that. Cause I still think this is really cute even though, well, let's set that aside. What else do we have? So we have this. I really don't, oh, we have this one that I didn't finish. Okay, this one is good. We'll take this one apart. Um, we have these little guys that could, oh, I, did I glue these? Hold on. Uh, pulling this out. 
So, oh, I glued all this together. Why did I do that? Okay, the Two Little Bees card popped off. This is very cute, though, so I'll save that. This one, apparently I glued all these pages together. Did I? Oh, maybe they're just kind of sticking. There we go. I can save these. If I want to use them, I might, but here I might just go with the sweater on the inside of this. The cable net's so cute. Or should I save the cable net for outside? Hmm, see, I'm having this conundrum again. Maybe I should do one more dashboard. No, I think I'll put this on the inside here. Okay, bend that that way. And on the inside, I can put either this little guy might be kind of cute or what else do we have? We ha oh, I wanna do the fox from Two Little Bees, definitely there. I think that looks really cute. And I'm just sticking these in instead of gluing them because honestly, I just kinda wanna save them and I don't really think they need the glue. And I think I'll also put in this. The fox and pit bow is kinda stuck on there, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, even though it looks a little silly, I think with the uh, sweater print and I also want to take maybe a something from the die cuts I have maybe these little boots down in the corner here is that cough cover up the coffee cup too much or is that too big we could also do could also do this really funny little bear that's from the two little bees die cuts I think that's hilarious okay I might add that there that looks really cute little dashboard there I think everybody's all in yeah and this one's pretty simple but like I said that's more of the vibe I'm going for so now I'm gonna get the foxy fix back out and I'm gonna decide if I want to use either of the planner society papers I'm gonna take a look and see whether I think I should just use the vellum dashboards or what so let's get the foxy fix back out and by the way, I am going to replace that seasonal gift cards and wish lists one with a generic one here that this is also from Jasenia's Printables. I think I actually might replace that with a different insert, but like I said, not prepared to do that right yet. But I just wanted to have a placeholder one there um, just so I can work in these, like in this setup. So I'm going to put this one in the front around here. This is looking kind of plain. I'm thinking I might add in, I mean, like I said, I kind of liked how plain it was, but I want to add a little bit more. I do have this from Clever Gal Crafts. Can we just stick that up here? Yeah, I think that looks really cute. And then I think around this one, I'm gonna use some vellum. So let me show you all the different vellums we have. I went crazy from Planner Press. So we have a coffee cup one. We have this one, that one's a little Christmassy to me, so I'm gonna set that aside. We have this one that has the um, Buffalo check shirt and hat, maybe. This is also a maybe. This one's pretty plain, so I think I'll set that aside. This one could be really cute. Um, I'll put that in this. This one says make it a December to remember. It is now January, so that's a no-go. Then we have this one that has um, the scarves and the coffee cups, maybe. And then this one I really like has the bust heads, which I think is really cute. So I think around the next one, I kind of want to do a pretty because um, this has a nice white front so I could either do this that might be really cute yeah because I kind of like using a more translucent one around um, a plain white one as opposed to a printed uh, insert and you some people because like Jasenia for example has such pretty insert covers and Annie plans printables is the same way um, you don't necessarily even need to put these around them if you're leaving the decorative cover there but I like to because I just like to make it all look really cute so there we have that one from planner press very simple around that dashboard like I said and then around here I'm thinking I'm gonna do a more uh, a darker dashboard oh and I also have this one from this is from oh my god I have so many die cuts everywhere this one is from Jameson Reed designs how do we like this 
I like this one because it makes it a little bit more wintry. Oh yeah, and that's really nice and um, kind of opaque too. So I think that one looks really cute. I think I'll keep that one for now. The only thing I don't love is kind of, I have a mix of like bright red and deep red in here, but I'm gonna have to get over that. And then here, this one is again, a simple insert cover, although I did say I might change these out. I'm debating doing, I kind of want to do one that has maybe this, although that's a stocking. That's kind of Christmassy. I didn't even think about that. Let's do the wood one here. And on the back of this one, since this one is pretty plain, I am going to take a Target dollar spot adhesive label. These have actually made a return to the dollar spot. So if you uh, have been looking for them, um, definitely go check your local Target because I was able to find some. So um, put that here on the vellum itself. And then I'm going to stick like some deco in there. I don't normally put pockets on vellum, but I think I saw either Kiki or Viv or Jacenia, one of my friends, do it, and I thought it looked really cute, so I think I want to do the same thing. So we have these really cute little boots that I've been wanting to use, and also maybe a little coffee cup from Fox and Pip would be cute, and then would a bow from My Newest Addiction just kind of fill out the space, or I could do... I'm gonna grab a these are just a clip that I got I think from like Target or something um, I think K and Co XOXO sells pretty similar ones and so I might just clip that there kind of have that be decorative let's see how do I do this kind of is that too much maybe just the two would be cute or just these two and they have different prints on them so I'm thinking just these two would be cute and I'll just put this here, kind of for decoration and kind of to hold that there. So I think that's really cute, just something different because that the back of that one was pretty plain. And then on this one, I'm debating for this final vinyl one. I might do that one in the very back because number one, I just love the way this one looks. And so when I go to the back of my planner, which I do fairly often, then I'll see it. But then also um, I like having the vinyl dashboards be on the front and the back because I feel like they protect the leather of your traveler's notebook a little bit better. So we have that there. And so what goes around this insert is the question. Should I do another final dashboard or we have this I just worry this doesn't fit the vibe at all of the rest of the planner which is a bummer because I really love it we also have this one this one fits the vibe a little bit better so maybe I will decorate this and I'm gonna leave the acetate out even though I love it but I'm just gonna kind of keep it a little bit more simple so maybe I will decorate this to be something cute I'm gonna slide this into a vinyl dashboard just since I have one free you don't always have to with the planner society oh I do need to trim this down because it wasn't um because it was bigger before when you don't put them in a dashboard they can be a little bit bigger so they wrap around your inserts a little better Actually, okay we've got that trim so that should fit now but I'm going to decorate it before I put it back in so for decoration we still have this note card that I didn't use maybe I'll use that as a cute little background because like I said I didn't love this design so maybe I'll use that there and put actually I'm going to do that on the front or the back what else do we have so I'm thinking that sweater is really cute and then I kind of want to have something from the fox and pip set maybe or what is this from the two little bees that one doesn't quite work um I also have this little candle or I could just make this one really simple and do that there and put this little bow from my newest addiction up there maybe something in the bottom corner too oh I forgot I had these little bow clips from Fox and Pip that might go on the front um the hot cocoa I don't know how I feel about the red on red is my problem that I'm this is too Christmassy, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe 
candle down there. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm just going to lightly run these because these are all die cuts I might want to use again. So I'm just going to use the tape runner pretty lightly on them if I can. This, as we as we establish, it's a very overzealous tape runner just to kind of hold things generally in place. So we have this here. Attempting to center that. And then I'm going to put this in the middle, this little sweater. I just think it's so cute. Sweater weather kind of vibe. And a little candle. And the clip. Yeah, I think that'll be really cute. And just a little bit of tape so that things stick once, but, cause, but since this is going in a dashboard, it doesn't have to be very much tape at all. Or going in a vinyl dashboard, I mean. Uh, I wish I had put this up higher. Can we do it? Mm, yes, okay. Perfect. So then it's not so covered by the candle. Okay, that looks actually really cute. And then on the back of that one, I don't really have much in terms of like big deco left that I want to use. And I really don't feel like cutting any more papers. If I'm being honest, I'm just kind of being lazy. I do have this little bust head, although I don't love the wood on the wood. What else do we have? Oh, I wish I could like lift this. Ooh, 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 can we do it? Can we do it? Oh crap, we're doing it. <gasps> no, I have more doilies though. So I can just lift this off and grab a new doily and maybe do that. I think that'd actually be really cute. And this one doesn't have as much buffalo check on it, but I think it's sometimes kind of nice to have different textures. Like I don't love everything to be too, too coordinating in my traveler's notebook. I love them to look a little bit more like, oh, these are just things that I love, even though obviously I'm spending a lot of time specifically decorating it. Um, I also personally don't use a lot of like photos and stuff, mostly because I don't have like a good printer for them, but also just because it's not as much my thing. I'm not much of like a photo taker, except unless it's my dog, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, I don't take a ton of photos, so I wouldn't have a lot to put in. The only question is, should we add like a little something down there or do we like how simple that is? My only thought is that there is another one that has just kind of a simple bust head, but this is pretty cute. What else is there to add? There's the butt girl. Eh. There is this from Two Little Bees. That could look cute. Um, down, does that look too, too centered? Everything's centered. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. Maybe I'll slide something in here. So let me grab that dashboard. What did I do with it? Oh, right. It's just a blank dashboard. So I'm going to put this here. And we're, I'm still having a hard time, even though I trimmed it even further. Come on, dashboard. There we go. Everybody's happy in there and pretty simple. So maybe I'll just put in... Maybe I'll just put in this little puppy from the two little bees or, ooh, I want this. I like all these coffee cups I have, but it's like they don't really go with this print. Does this go? No? Okay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the planner as is. Like I said, this is such a pretty print, that uh, Planner Society print, that I don't really want to cover it up too much. But I think I will go ahead and, since I have a vinyl one here and a bust head right there, I think I'm going to move this dashboard on top of this one. And then put the vinyl one in the middle here. Ugh, and now that I'm looking at it, I do really want to add something here. Um, what if we put that two little bees fox? Can something else go there? I kind of want to steal the fox and put the fox back here because I like this fox a lot. So I'm going to put the fox back there and then back up here I'm going to stick something else so we can stick a couple of things. I'm going to stick maybe this little coffee or hot cocoa from two little bees as well as 
And then this one, I have this really cute like little lodge die cut. That is from Jameson Reed Designs. And I'm thinking, you can see, I cut these papers too thin. You can see how much of an edge there is. Um, and I'm thinking I'll also add either this. What's on the back of this one? That's also Jameson. Um, maybe I'll just add this little cocoa one there. And those will just be kind of like die cuts that just kind of sit there. And then on that one, yeah, I think that's really cute. So I think that is how I want to set this up. I don't think I have any other changes I want to make except for to the front and back pocket. So let's do that next. So I think I am going to take this out for now. Um, these are the sheets from Hello Petite Paper. And I think I'm going to try to slide this little dashboard that I had made previously. Just put that in here. Obviously, you won't be able to see... Hmm, it's like a little too long, or tall maybe. Might have to cut it down just a little. I really like the washi on the edges though. Feats of strength here, guys. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to trim a little off the top and bottom. I just struggled with that like off camera for a hot second. Um, to try to get this in there just for some background to the clips and stuff that I'm gonna add to the horizontal pockets. Hopefully we can get it in now. Hey, that slides in a lot easier. Yes, yes, okay, looking really cute. I might pull this little die cut up. Yeah, I'm gonna pull these two die cuts up. Again, not stuck down with real glue, so they come up pretty easy just so that um, I don't have anything interrupting that view. So I have that there, and now I have some clips I wanna add. So I have these clips from Creative, the Creative B, and I definitely wanna add a lot of these. So we have this little fox guy. The only problem is the fox is it's like sideways, but I think that's just a problem with horizontal pockets. I know some shops sell clips that swivel, which is such a cute idea. Um, and then I kind of want to stick, might stick this little coffee cup kind of peeking out there. I'm going to need a clip to hold that. And I went ahead and grabbed this little bow clip, I think. Ooh, I don't remember. Oh, I think this is from Green and Lime. Yeah, that's from Green and Lime. So I'm going to just hold that little coffee cup there with a bow clip. Maybe we'll put the box up there. And then I have this little owl that I thought was so cute too to add in. just for some extra deco. And then down here, maybe I should be doing this like this. Put that there so that there's a little bit of deco on the pocket itself. I'm worried that like when I'm actually using that, that's gonna fly away, but we'll give that a go for now. I might change that out. And then I do have this final one also from the Creative B. Um, I just liked this, <laughs> so these clips a lot, and that's going to go in there. And I don't mind putting cardstock clips in the front of my planner. They don't tend to get damaged when they're just there. Um, I might add uh, one other kind of like die cut thing up there. So we have the coffee cup already. Which one do I like better? I don't know. The red or the... Yeah, I like the buffalo check one. That one's really cute. And then I could add up here, I have this little... Um, two little bees bow, although did I want to put that there? No. Did I want to put this there? Maybe, I'm gonna slide that in there. I might need to glue that down, but I'm gonna put that in there for now. Do I want this here or, yeah, maybe that's good. Maybe just the one is kind of cute. And I'm gonna change up, oh no, I want the black in the middle, so I think these are good. So I think that's it for the front pockets, and I'm gonna turn to the back pockets. And for this little sticker, um, for the back here, I'm just gonna put this sheet from Jameson Reed Designs. I didn't end up using it in this setup, so I'm just gonna put that there since it kind of matches the whole theme. It's got some buffalo check peeking out, and if I do wanna pull in any stickers to decorate, then I have them. And then I'm going to put this little sheet from um, My Newest Addiction, and this is kind of Christmassy, but I think it could hold over into the winter. And then I'm going to put in the front this little Miss Daisy Rose clip, and, and no, I'm not. I'm going to put in 
this little die cut from Fox and Pip there and I think that's actually all I want to add. I don't want to crowd this too much. Is it silly to have the two here? What if we just added in like this one of these dashboards that's just like from the planner press that I didn't use. Do they fit or do I have to cut them down? Let's see. If I have to cut them down. I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, I would have to Sorry if you're like hearing my charms incessantly. It like fits, but like barely. Actually, it's okay. That's kind of cute, although I don't love the one I chose. Should I do a different one? Should I do the, should I just do plain buffalo check in the back there? I just don't love the two different prints being next to each other in such big quantities. Um, so I think maybe I'll just leave that one and put that there with this little guy. I could put this over top. That's a lot of stickers though, like with having the two sticker sheets. So I think this one looks really cute from My Nose Addiction. So I think I'm gonna leave that as is. And then the final touches are to add in clips throughout my planner. So I do have these Buffalo check clips from Kanko XOXO. I did say the charm didn't work out for me, but her um, actual clips really hold up well for me, even when I'm putting them on here. And then I also have some peach palm clips here. I think I'm missing one. I think it fell out in my bag. Um, but these are really great. These are very sturdy and hold up really well. And then I have some of my favorite green and lime clips. I have a couple of coffee cups and page marker ones. So I'm going to go through and add those. <coughs> Oops. <coughs> After I sneeze. Okay guys, so I think I'm ready to share a flip through. So if you're just tuning in, I made all the changes. I ended up changing out a lot more than I had realized. And um, now I have like a fully winter D Christmas, so it's not as Christmassy themed um, planner. I will kind of tell you guys where everything is from in case people are only watching the flip through. So let's go ahead and dive in. So in the front pockets here, all three of these clips are from the Creative Bee Shop. This little clip holding onto this die cut is from the Green and Lime Shop. I will leave that linked below. I have a pretty good referral link. It's like $10 off your first order or something. And then I also have here a little digital um, cutout die cut from Fox and Pip. So basically you buy the digital art and then you can print it yourself. And then on this dashboard, this is in a vinyl dashboard from Foxy Fix. And I went with a kind of deer head print background. That is from a Michaels paper set. This little calendar printout is from Rose Colored Days. And then all three of these are from the Fox and Pip digital art set. And then on the back of this one, I just have again, a simple sheet of scrapbook paper from Michaels. And then I have a dashboard from Wild Summer Designs. And then here on this insert, we have my weekly. I'm not going to show you guys a f one because I have some like stuff in there, but I do. This is what the layout is. These are from Jesenia's Printables. She just released these for January, so check those out. And I like to hold my place in this one with a little green and lime paper clip. You can grab the little side there, which is really useful. And then I always, for this one, I always have two clips. I have the second one, which is a peach palm clip on the little listing section of this insert, which I find very functional. And then on the back of this dashboard, oops, I accidentally clipped it to the dashboard. <laughs> um, on the back of this dashboard, just the other half of that paper, we have a couple of die cuts. This one's from Jameson Reed Designs. That one's from Two Little Bees. And then back here, we have a girl design from Jameson Reed Designs and a little Clever Gal Crafts foiled bow. And then here, this is just a vellum dashboard from Planner Press. I really like that one. And then this is a plain insert from So Much Crafting, just a dot grid. And I have my clip here from K&Co XOXO. I use this one for kind of a work bullet journal. It's very functional for me. Then we have the little um, other half of that vellum. And then on this one, I have another sheet of vellum. This one is from Jameson Reed Designs. And then we have this listing insert. I'm gonna take this out and change it out for something that's less seasonal, but I haven't printed that yet. And I do just have a peach palm, little palm there to hold my place. That's the back of the dashboard. And then on this dashboard, this is another vinyl dashboard. This paper is from Planner Society. I really love this one. This is a holdover from my Christmas spread. I realize it's not quite in fitting with the Buffalo check theme, but I just love that so much. It makes me so happy. I didn't want to give it up. But then on the front here, I do have some kind of Buffalo plaid. This die cut is from Wild Summer Designs. And then these two are from My Newest Addiction. And then on the back, I just did a simple, um, what are they called, doily with a gold 
foil or gold glitter bust head over it. Both of those are from Michael's Packs. And then on the next one, I have just a simple vellum dashboard from Planner Press. Again, this is another insert I'm gonna change out. It's just a simple notes insert, but I did go ahead and add in a little green and lime paper clip. It's a little coffee cup. I love these, so cute um, to hold my place for whatever I do put in there. And then on the back of this one, because I thought it looked kind of plain, I added in a cute little um, adhesive pocket from Target with some die cuts. This one is from Wild Summer Designs. This one is from My Newest Addiction. And then the final dashboard here is a vinyl dashboard. We have a Wild Summer Designs uh, dashboard on the front. I really like that. And then on the inside of this one, I put a different paper from a Michaels paper pack. It's like the sweater. I think that's so pretty. We have our Two Little Bees little fox card that came with the die cuts. I love that. Then I have my health inserts from Jasenia's printables. I am still trying to get myself to use these every week, but I'm working on it. And then we have the little page marker again from Green and Lime. And then on the back of this dashboard, the other half of the cable net sweater one, this is a dashboard from Wild Summer Designs. This is bow is from Fox and Pip, and that little bear is from Two Little Bees, so funny. And then on the back here, we have a Buffalo check card that is from Wild Summer Designs and another one of those gold bust heads from Michaels. And then in the back, I just used some um, leftover vellum sheets that I didn't use from um, Planner Press and I actually just kept it. It's like two sided. I just kept it like that in case I want to use it next year. I didn't cut it or anything and I just slid it in there. Then I have a sheet of stickers from My Newest Addiction and another little die cut from Fox and Pip. So that is my setup for the winter uh, Foxy Fix. I'm really glad I took the time to do this for you guys and for myself because it was driving me nuts to have like a half finished setup for like a month. So I'm really happy with this and it's actually like I feel like it's going to be a lot more functional now that I don't have thick dashboards for everyone. I might do that going forward, have more dashboards that are just vellum because this already feels like a lot more lightweight, which is super nice. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this setup video. Give me a thumbs up if you like seeing me do these full setups. Um, I really helpful to know whether you guys would just rather see them when they're done or if you like me walking you through them, whatever you guys want, but just keep me posted. And yeah, I think that is it for this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm uploading a lot in January. And that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll check you in the next one. Bye.